Rachel. She's here to help me do my science project and ask me a couple questions about food technology. And I will do my best to answer them. What are the working conditions? Food technologists work in labs, offices, and factories. What are the job duties? They supervise processing, packaging, and storing direct sanitation and to develop ways to keep food fresh. They also improve taste, appearance, and nutritional value in your foods. What is a typical schedule? They work a full-time basis and regular daytime hours. What is a typical day like? Developing new and improved methods of processing, working on quality, they control packaging and distributing, and researching and develop the standards. They look at taste, appearance, and texture, and then check packaging, too. What percent of your time is spent working alone versus working with a team? A lot of times you work alone, but sometimes you'll need to work in a group, too. It's best of both worlds. What are the physical demands? There are low physical demands. What is the stress level like? It's a medium stress level since you have to stay up to speed with the other companies and such. Okay. What types of materials do you need to read and understand to be successful? You need to see, be able to read food labels and understand them and understand what chemicals will react in which ways. How does changing technology affect your work? It makes it easier once you adjust to the new technology and learn how to use it to your benefit. How important are communication and literacy skills in your area? It's a high level of literacy, liter literacy and communication skills. <laughs> okay. What types of equipment are used in this career area? Lab mills, refractometers, and sock slit extractors are just a couple. What advice would you offer to a young person considering this line of work? To take plenty of high school courses and have your future planned out on what you want to do and go to a good college. Which personal qualities or strengths are needed in this type of position? Problem solving, decision making, critical thinking, significant use of memory, job planning, task planning, and organization. What type of education is typical for this career? A strong background in science and degree in food science, food studies or food technology, and organization. What schools offer this training? Arkansas State and Auburn University are just a few. What college, university, or tech college classes are required? You will need a minimum of your bachelor's degree. What high school classes would help one prepare for this career? Chemistry, food analysis, food microbiology, food engineering, and food processing operations. What are some challenges that go along with this career? Trying to keep the food healthy for people to eat and enjoy with friends and family. What are some rewarding aspects of this career? Benefits include paid holidays, vacations, pension plans, and health insurance. What is the outlook for this career? Both outlooks are good but affected by government regulations concerning the production methods to process foods and the amount of money paid for it. The jobs are located in both rural and urban areas. What is the most interesting, inspiring, or creative aspect of your position? You're basically involved with every food item that you would see, eat, or think about eating. What is the typical salary range for someone working in this career? The starting one is 35000 but with experience is 40000 to 80000 Some fun facts or skills you will need, such as essential skills, are numeracy, numeracy skills, computer skills, document use skills, reading and writing text skills, problem solving skills, decision skills, decision making skills, critical thinking skills, significant use of memory skills, and those are just a couple. <laughs>
make things appealing towards certain age groups or genders. They might make things look cool so you want to buy it or they might make things in like little packages because you're too lazy to get a cup and stuff that's like easy to take in your lunchbox. All that kind of stuff. my phone. It's man, but she gave me her old one. Manwich is for men. It's geared towards men because <laughs> it has the word man in it. And it's very sloppy. So. And you want to have a, man, perfectly. a manly sandwich. This, they might just make the thing look cool. And when I went to Walmart, I was like, this is a cool bottle. I want some canola oil. This little 80s cheesy ravioli. Sounds so good, because it has a little bunny on it. It's so cute. It makes me want to eat them all up. Little kids like bunnies. Simply Asia. It's fast, easy. You can take it to work or to school because it's in comes in a cute little that. And it's like, it's creative. Yes. Does it taste good? Not exactly. But it's creative. Fiber One is for old people because they need fiber to do their daily duties. Duties. Such as watering their plants. <laughs> <laughs> and little kids might like the little smiley face on Juicy Juice. And it comes in a little Minute Maid. <laughs> and it comes in a little patching with a straw. And it's got the two eyes, the nose, and a smile. In case you didn't catch that. And the last thing. This never, ever, ever, ever ceases to amaze me because it's butter that you spray on such items. And, like, I guess it's not bad for you. It's got zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, fresh and creamy taste, and it's a good idea. Thank you for joining us on our adventure of learning. We'll see you next time. Yeah! Bye. Do on me here. Tell us why you bought that. Why did I buy this? Yes, tell us what it is. This is kettle corn seasoning. And I bought this because my family loves kettle corn popcorn and they want it microwave. Microwave popcorn's no longer good for you, so they say. So I thought, let's cook it in a pan and use this stuff. And it's good. Plus, it looks cute. Is that all you have to say about it? That's it.